Hey, what up, gamers? What up, gaming nation? Welcome to my stream. I'm gonna play a video game before I have to go back to the uh, eternal hellscape that is work. Uh, so come in, sit down, watch me make a, a normal man. This is a good name. Porf Porfirio. This is a good name. Welcome, Justice. Uh, let's see what we have here. What we've got here. We can make a cool guy. I forget which which things I install. That's that's uh, that's a new one. Got Birdman. Got Fishman. The Fishman is actually done now, and it looks like this. It's horrifying. What? No head. You can make a fucking skeleton without a head? What did I install in this game? We should just make a, a skeleton without a head. I wonder how well that would go. Does he have any pen, uh, penalties for this? I guess not. Alright. Let's make a... Yeah, I know. <laughs> maybe maybe all the uh, processing power is within the chest. Maybe he's got you know he's got his GPU in there. He's got his CPU in there. He's got his motherboard all squished in there. I think <laughs> I think it would be kind of interesting to make a no-headed robot. I think that I think that would be pretty good. Let's let's make him. Let's make him real cool too. Let's make him a real cool guy. Um. Let's take those clothes off, baby. Let's see what you got working down here. I think they changed this model around a little bit. I remember it looking differently before, but it could just be because I haven't played Kenshi in a while. <laughs> but just this is how this is how he should <laughs> he should enter the battle. Oh my god, look at this. He's got a spring in his step. It's it's been a while since I've seen all these animations, so forgive me for being very amused. It's been a little bit. Man, this guy, this guy's got <laughs> 64 uh, gigabytes of RAM over here, as you could, as you can plainly see. Maybe it should be a short bot. It should make like a tiny little bot. I'm, I'm gonna try to play this game as legit as possible. I know I, I, I always make, um, maybe make him a little sad or something. Make him a bit of a sad boy. I always play this game with like, um, pre-made characters and it's interesting but i i i haven't ever streamed myself actually legitimately playing this game it's a lot of grinding and it's it's fun but it take like the beginning of this game is just such uh such grinding to try to get better i'm going to i'm just going to make this a sad bot and uh he's he's just going to have to mine for a while luminol welcome He's just, <laughs> he's just a headless bot. What did this come with? Or is this now in the game? I can't even tell, man. Let's see his face. He's got no face. He's got no head. <laughs> Can he put a hat on? <laughs> if this crashed my game? Let's make him sad bot. Sad. No. I'm going to make it cool. I'm going to make it gamer oriented. All right, that's a zero in the middle. That's elite speak. We've officially crossed over into elite speak territory. Okay. Yes, this is what they're doing at Boston Dynamics right now. Making headless robos. This used to be the dog bot. Is that what they still call it? That like uh, that robot that could carry like a whole bunch of uh, backpacks for soldiers is still called a dog. Make him very short. He's just gonna be a tiny guy. Make sad bot. Let's confirm it. Oh man, he's got zero attack and zero defense. This is a truly a sad bot. Everything has to render first. Take a minute. All right. <laughs> he has no head in his portrait. He's just a pair of shoulders and no neck. I, I love whoever made this. He's just a headless robot. Can he talk to people? I wonder. All right, so this is the default start of the game. Um. This is this is I'm gonna show you exactly how I play Kenshi 
in the beginning. This is how you. This is my recipe for success. Okay, if you're ever interested in playing this game, and you're frustrated that things aren't going your way, I'm gonna give you uh, an expert. Well, not an expert. I'm not an expert. I'm gonna give you my secret to success using Sad Bot. Now, what you want to do is you want to mine forever. Mine for as long as you can. Actually, hold on. I don't have any money, do I? No, I have a thousand bucks. Okay. You got to mine as long as possible. This is a very long, arduous process, okay? But it'll be worth it because your skill will go up. It's worthwhile. I will win, don't you worry. I always win. I never lose. That's my tagline. I should have something running in the background as I do this. I usually let this idle because this is such a long process. <laughs> this becomes much faster once you, um... Oh, shit. We got a fight going on over here. Oh, shit! Now, see, this is the exciting stuff you want to see. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you another little trick that I picked up. Not a little neat trick. Sadbot can be a little uh, repurposer of goods. This is what you do, okay? In the beginning, oh, I like how his portrait changed. In the beginning, you just gotta scrounge for fucking anything. So you just pick up literally anything you find and just sell it. Repurpose every single thing that you could find until you can afford another squad member. This is going to be uh, Sadbot's tale of success. Success and uh, getting women. Acquiring love and also cash because the two go hand in hand. If you don't love yourself, how are you supposed to make money? Answer me that, you'll be a wise man. All right. Let's see how much money we we made over here. This is like a this is like a reverse episode of uh, Hardcore Pawn. This is like when you see the process of the prospecting. You see the prospector himself, Fennec. Welcome, welcome, Fenny Q. You f you finally changed your name to the proper pronunciation of it, and I really appreciate that. Um, now I won't be so confused. Right, what does the most damage here? Everything has its penalty. Or should I be an unarmed combatant? You know what? I'm just going to take this. Sell it all. Look at this already. We've already got 1,600 buckaroos! It's beautiful. Uh, Do they have a... Oh, shit. Half-eaten book. That must be a new thing. Unless it's a mod. Right, we got a skeleton repair kit. This is two grand. We can't even afford that. How about this one? This one's five grand. We can't even afford that. All right, we're gonna have to scrounge together some more uh, loot. You know what? This is. Let me show you the price of business, everybody. Price of business is sometimes you scrounge around for for absolute trash, only to spend your hard-earned money on a backpack so that you could pick more up. Okay, and that's that's the price of business. Now, don't, don't be too upset about that. It's just the way it goes. It's just the way it goes. And now we could, we could put together... Uh, can I even fit this in here? Okay, I could fit this in here. Now we could take everything. Okay, now we're going to be selling pants. We're going to be selling everybody's clothing off their backs. Oh, look at this. I just got a new... Uh, I got a skirt now. See, this is, this is when life is good. This is when you're really, when things are really looking up, okay? You might think you're, you're like, you know, you're in a bad spot until you find a, a skirt on the ground for free. Then you're really doing well. Then you're doing great. All right, and we're going to sell all this stuff. This is, this is just part of it. I think Sadbot is just going to be uh, the absolute lowest <laughs> life form leech fucking vulture of the sands. And this is going to be his story of success. We're going to we're going to raise Sadbot from a scrounger to a legitimate businessman. 
during this entire playthrough. Look at this. We already have 500 buckaroos, baby. 500 cats. It's beautiful. Oh, God. The manhunters are enslaving my... My, my beautiful money on the ground. Welcome, Kando. I'm glad you're you're excited to see more Kenshi. I'm excited to play more. Oh my god, they're all attacking this person. Uh, listen, I need these clothes, so... You know, you can do whatever you want with that. But I need to sell these pants at, as soon as possible. Yes. Sad about will one... Oh shit, you can actually see people trade now? Is that a mod I I, I don't even know what I installed. That might be an authentic thing, or it might be a mod. But either way, very surprising. Very cool. Hell yeah. I'm selling pants left and right. I'm a pants salesman. Now, the beginning of this is going to, like I said, is going to be very slow. A lot of mining here. But you know what? You got to do the time if you want to reap the benefits of success, is what I say. And you want to stay away from these guys because they're going to put you in shackles for the rest of your life. So you said, listen, you know, if you're having a bad day, this is the character for you. This is the character to view and to learn from. Sadbot was, uh... Sadbot doesn't even have a head. He doesn't even have a head on his shoulders. And he's still out there grinding. He's still out there hitting a piece of God knows what scrap in the desert. So he could afford a skeleton repair kit. So he could later afford a friend. Alright. Listen, we've had a song request, okay? Um, I'm legally obligated to play this. Alright, blame Viridium for this. I'm legally obligated. Has everybody changed their name? <laughs> Joe Wisp! What, what is this trend? Everybody's name is different. I don't even recognize Fennec. Now Joseph isn't even the same man. What the heck? This is the anthem of the working man. Hopefully bugs don't attack us or slavers. If they do, we're going to have to work past it. Never change your name. Never. Keep yourself authentic. I want to see the original. Oh, hell yeah. Free sub, gotta love it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. On that grind, baby. On that grind. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? How much is it? 2,000! This is what we do every day out here, guys. Every day. We got meat. We got backpacks off of animals. This is looking great. We just made two grand. Alright, there are terrible things happening here, but that's, that's fine. We're making a lot of money all of a sudden. See what I mean? If you have faith, if you grind, if you rise and grind, guys, you get backpacks full of animal meat and leather. This is what I'm trying to communicate to you here. It'll all pay off. Oh my god, how many of these animals did they kill? Holy shit, there's a lot of them. 
did something just appear and what what just happened? Did you see that? Gotta get as many as possible. I don't know why they started attacking these Garus. I, I don't know what they did, but I'm glad that they did it because now my man has some coin. I need this, but I don't have enough room. That's okay. We're going back to the grind, everybody. Sad bots going in. He's going in. He's working. He's rising and grinding, guys. Getting that copper. And I'm not talking about money. Stop it, guys. Okay, no, Fenny Q, thank you for the 21 months. Where's your head at, my man? Who are you? Who is this guy? Doing great. We gotta wait until daytime. What on earth? Hold on, we gotta check this out. Oh no. <laughs> He's trying. Oh no, this is someone from earlier, I think. I'm just I'm just looking for things to, to scrounge. I'm looking for um things to leech off of. <laughs> That's the character I've made here. We might be able to buy a friend with us. I don't know what the end game is for this character, but we're gonna be rich and famous. Once that sun rises, baby, I'm gonna be rolling in dough. Look at all this. 2,000 each. Well, 1,000 each with, with their sell value. You know, that's, uh, that's basic economics here. But we could do, there's still some out here. We could, we could grab a few more on the way. All right, sun's rising. We're going in. We're going to make some money now. <laughs> he almost looks like those Boston Dynamics robots. <laughs> he looks a lot like them. Look at this. A thousand, two thousand, three thousand. He's a rich man. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful it's a beautiful day to be alive. Um all right, listen. Remember when I said you gotta spend money to make money? Well, this is it. I thought there was a larger size backpack, but I guess there isn't. We're gonna get the biggest backpack for the biggest yield, okay? And we're gonna we're gonna go back here. We're gonna sell all these packs. Look at this. We got seven grand already. Can you believe this? Can you believe this money? I'm. Wait. What just happened? Did I just eat this? What happened to the meat? Why is that happening? It's very strange. Okay, it doesn't matter. All I know is that we're, we're getting all these backpacks in here. That's all that matters. Repurpose the backpacks, repurpose the clothing. That's the goal. <laughs> repurpose everything. We are the ultimate bottom feeder. Nothing goes to waste. Could have sworn there were more, but oh no, there are a few more. Here we go. I don't know why these keep disappearing. It's got to be a glitch. That's, but that's fine. I'm gonna sell all the meat, everything. Nothing goes to waste. Nothing. 
Oh wait, maybe I've been dropping the animal skin. But where is it then? Is it under them? The animal skin is valuable. We need that. Alright, we're going back in. Selling it all. Beautiful. Look at this. $11,000. Clawing our way to the top. How do you fucking sell the whole stack? I forget. I guess I just drag it. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, now we got our skeleton repair kit. Okay, that's number one. Number two is, let's go see who's around town. Let's go see who's hanging out at the bar over here. Let's see what cool guys are over here. Maybe we can find a cool friend. Maybe, maybe Sadbot won't be so sad anymore. What is this? For the drifters, we don't need a drifter. We got an assassin over here. We need a cool. Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck it! I'll go with the drifter. Honor and discipline, stranger. Yes, those are the core values of. Oh, he's an islander. Cool. All right. Oh, no, no, no. It was a joke. Why Why do you want to defend your honor and kill a poor robot? How strong is he? Oh, shit, he's pretty strong. Maybe we could get him. Oh, he just joined me for free. What does he look like? Oh, wow. He could find love, it's very possible. I like how his head is just mismatched uh, with the rest of him, but that's fine. His his name is just Wandering Ronin. Let's call him uh, Wandering Ronnie. You gotta make him cuter. He's gotta be way cuter. I think, I think Ronnie needs a little bit of a gut. Like, if people are going to be... Um... <laughs> if people are going to be questioning, you know, his strength, I think he needs a bit of a gut. He's got, he's got to have big old hands, too. There you go. He's, he's got, like, a dad bod going on. He's a bit of a wide guy. He's a little tall. Can't really do anything about the skin color. It just turns purple. He's got wide... Oh, god damn. Look at that caboose, baby. Shit, where, where's this train going, girl? Fuck. God damn. Give him a big old butt. I think he needs... <laughs> He needs this kind of stance as well. No, let's give him like skinny legs and he just stands like this. That's how he stands. That's why people question whether or not he's a, a strong boy or not. They're just like, this doesn't seem right. There's some, there's something about this. Oh, god damn. There we go. Oh my god. Can he even look different? Oh, he can. There he goes. Let's give him cool hair. Oh my god. Fucking rat tail. He looks like a like a Florida trailer park native. It's exactly the kind of cool guy we need. What's the coolest haircut we've got here? I think a little I think he should you know, he's got the elf ears. We should give him like an elf cut. I think this is an elf cut here. I think this is pretty good. And he can't have any other hair color. Oh no he can. Okay. Let's give him green hair. There you go. No beard. Give him a little bit of a beard. There you go. A little bit of the old uh, whiskers. I think I'll edit him a little bit more. So this guy free? Did I actually get this guy for free just by complimenting him? I guess, you know... I guess compliments will get you everywhere. Oh my god, he's like ripping out of his own skin here. The 41 shrink, that's not bad. That's not a bad start. For someone to defend our sweet sad bot. I do not want a bird on my team, but I might have to do it. 
Just so that we get more money. 3,000? That sounds like a steal to me. I'm just going to completely randomize this one because there isn't much difference in these birds. There you go. What kind of talents does he have? Grover. I forgot to name him. His name is Grover now. He's a fucking uh, Muppet from Sesame Street. And there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so now the problem becomes we got to feed these two. Oh shit, he's got sake. Nice. He's got a rice bowl. Who's this man? He's got nothing. All right, we got we to gotta feed our two uh, workers now. Let's trade. Look at all this food, goddamn. Grilled and salted tofu. Delicious. Listen, I'm, I like birds as much as the next man, but uh, they're very distracting. Um, very opinionated. A sausage dust switch. Oh boy. Let's get a few of these. Sushi's too expensive here. We'll get, uh... We'll get, like, 20. Yeah, I don't do it. That'll be enough. Let's trade with Grover. One of my favorite U.S. presidents. And also my favorite Muppet, by far. Actually, that isn't that isn't a lie. I remember my mother telling me that Grover was my favorite Sesame Street character as a child. I was obsessed with him. I don't know where this stems from, and frankly, it disturbs me. But there you have it. Now the friends will all join together. Mining together and pining together. Here we go. Three miners. This is going to be done in no time. Welcome, Woody. Well, he's slow. He's got a big old backpack on his ass. It's going to take him a little longer. He's tiny. He's got a tiny frame. It's our defender is going to be wandering Ronnie. He's the only one with any combat skill. I'll tell you right now, Grover's not gonna do much, but sad sad boy or sad bot has negative three attack. Which isn't good. Oh don't worry, we'll we'll enhance him. For sure. We'll get some stuff going. Oh shit, I left all this out here. Let's get Ronnie to pick these up. Oh, so this is where all the meat went. How did I... I don't understand how I can't pick that up. Alright, I'll get Ronnie to sell these off. I wish it was like a barter skill. But everything has a base price, so I guess it's, it's more fair that way. No! I don't want this. Look at this money rolling in. It's incredible. I love the fly sounds in this, by the way. They're so obnoxious. I think there was actually a mod to remove them completely, because there's like this there's this glitch that happens. I don't know if it still exists, it used to. Where you would just hear flies everywhere you went if you killed a bunch of people. I think that was in uh, Alpha though, so it should be out of here. Shouldn't be so many flies in this game anymore. Is that a bone dog? Is that a boner dog? Right, I think that's all of them. Can we sell this now? Is it still the right time? Sell it off. You could sh shut down shop, but I gotta sell you this... This meat first. And skin of the animal. $12,000, baby. Look at this. Look at this progress. A bunch of raw copper. We're doing great. I want to try farming in this game sometime, but I, I always have trouble automating it. Because that's the key to this game, is automating everything. Having your characters just work while you watch.
It's the key to the entire game. I feel like Grover's feathers kind of get in the way here. <laughs> He's chopping into himself a little bit. Good old Grove. Are you guys hyped for uh, the book stream tomorrow? I'm going to be reading more of that awful, awful novel. And taking shots uh, for some reason. I'm going to figure it out later. I think semicolons needs to be ruled out. <laughs> We might do art, or I might have my woman read with me. We'll see what happens. We'll see if she's cool with being on the uh, webcam. But this is like... This is like a thing from both of our past, so it'd be fun to have both of us involved. But at some point, I absolutely want to crowdsource from chat uh, a fan fiction about the nerdy character who has a weird a weird hobby which is cards i forget what his name was listen my liver will be fine i'm a pure-blooded pole who drinks very rarely the liver is ready for it the liver actually begs me for this sort of uh for this sort of uh an opportunity to prove itself, to prove its worth. No, it wasn't Augie. It was his his nerdy coworker. I forget what his name was. That's that's how that's how forgettable every character in this is. I could never forget Augie. It was sho he was shoved down my throat for fucking years. Look at this. This progress is going so quick. Let's see if Sadbot can return all this stuff. Maybe we can find another worker. Doesn't seem... This guy just woke up and he's a slave. That sucks. I think this is one of the guys that was just... Oh no, he's an ex-slave! Maybe I can unlock his shackles. I wonder if I would get in trouble for that. I am right in front of the police. Oh, hold on, let's, uh, fuck these peeps over here. Actually, Sadbot might be, might be too slow. Hold on. Catch up, Sadbot! Talk to him. Oh, he's got prosthetic legs. Cool. That's some money for that. That's not really what I'm interested in. I wonder, wait, can Sadbot... Oh, he can't change his limbs, I guess, because he's a machine. Oh, no, he has to lie down first, I think. Was it Lance? I don't remember. I'll skim through it. We'll figure it out. But I want to write a fan fiction with all of your input and make him the coolest fucking character. Like, I, I want him to be the most interesting character in that entire story. From our perspective, and Augie just like missed out on a cool guy all those times that he ignored him. He gets all the ladies, he gets all the cards. That bot's been running all his life. Towards what? No one knows. I gotta get some clothing for our friends here. Look at that backpack, my god! I can't wait to learn more about Zelna the Wicked Witch. And I really want to meet that guy th that she kept drawing with the scar that's based off of Phantom of the Opera. I just need to see that. 
I need to understand why he's in this story. It drives me crazy, man. Got some man hunters over here. I have to be so paranoid in this game because it, a group of people just shows up and you're fucked. You gotta watch everybody's movements. You get enslaved so quickly. The first time I played this game, I was just, I was doing this. I was mining and all of a sudden I got hit by a bug that came out of the sand and I got knocked out and all these uh, slave hunters put me in shackles and threw me in a cage and I was like, what do I do now? And I had to live like a slave for a while, but I escaped. I got out of there. Oh yeah, the pirate crew with ragged clothing was sick. With their with their cocks hanging out, they were pretty good. And they had like beads. She she like watched Pirates of the Caribbean, and she's like, okay, every pirate has to look like Johnny Depp except their cocks are out. And uh, forgive me for being obsessed with this, but I just. I see it that way. I, I think all their cocks are out because she tattered the pants so much. I bet those pirates are never heard from again, too. I, I, can, I can almost guarantee. Because she just makes all these characters that she thinks are elaborate. And they're just tossed over to the wayside and never spoken of. I don't understand the point at all. And I love it. I love how meaningless everybody is. Just a bunch of miners here, guys. Let's see if Sadbot can get some more friends. I think we should get like a, a posse of like 10 people. Oh, that would be sick. Knowing her, though, and her uh, tendency to avoid historical uh, accuracy, she'd probably give them, like, Glocks or some shit. If she even knows what a Glock is. That's just her style. Putting a shower in the 1800s. Putting a an Uzi in the hand of a pirate. It just works. It all comes together. Zoomy from the Drifters. I need employment. You're just a kid! She called me a stupid adult. I'm a headless robot. Let's see. Oh, she wants to do research. Come with us. 2,500 bucks. Oh, she just named the Zumi. I didn't even get to customize her. That's fine. She'll be our researcher. You're going to need that once you get a settlement anyway. Have anybody else around here we could recruit? What about upstairs? The Zumi, do you have any food? You have no food. Well, I already have to sponsor her by buying her dried meat. Or cooked meat. She's now been sponsored. She better, uh, she better make it work. What do we got here? Barth. That's a really good name. Four thousand. Look at Barth. I'm not even gonna change his name. I'm gonna name him Barth Bader. Barth Bader Ginsburg. There you go. Rest in peace. I know she's not actually dead, <laughs> but I've heard so many jokes about people saying she might as well be. God damn, that's been fucking brutal. Let's get. Let's make him look real cute. A really cute boy. Actually, you know what? Let's make him our... Uh, I remember a while back, we had Liz in this game. And we made Liz, like, our our chibi anime uh, hive, hive creature. And it was adorable. Oh, here we go. He looks like a Martian now. This is not racist, by the way. So don't try to take this out of context. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, we do. <laughs> and I I imagine it would just look like Bart Simpson in a judge's uh, robe. Yeah, it looks very cute now. Very cute, very cool. Um, he's a bit of a skinny boy, you know. I think he should be very tall, but very cute. And he's... 
There you go. He's he's a little sassy, you know? And he just got a back problem. No, no, we can't do that. It'll be fine. There we go. He's a bit of a slouch. Let's see his neck position. He's just like, huh? What do you talk about? Very tall legs. He's just a tall guy. Not bulky at all. He's just a skinny guy. Just a skinny guy, little hands. Very, very sassy. Big chested, though. He's strong. He's a strong, independent female. Oh, damn. Hips like that. Pfft, God, I'm going to have to end the stream early. I'm going to have to take a screenshot of that one. There we go. We got him. Barth Bader Ginsburg. There he is. Oh, my God. Look how much taller. Oh, my God. Look how much taller he is. Look at this size comparison between the leader and the support. But my god, is he adorable. He's so cute. Also, we left Azumi downstairs. We're just like, fuck her. Let's get him out there. <laughs> he looks like a real kisser. I love that these people are just like, they're just standing outside of the city. They've been here for three days just hitting this this piece of steel. This piece of copper, actually. Hold on, what, who are these people? Who's Joseph? Let's talk to Joseph. I want to talk to Joseph. Why is there a slave walking with him? What's that about? Oh, hi there. I'm a hero. Oh, he doesn't have dialogue yet. Yes. 30,000 cats, Joseph! Jesus! No! Joseph, you're expensive. I like you, but not that much. Don't worry, we'll get there. We got seven grand already, and we've got five people working this copper now. Soon enough, we'll be able to, to move out of here, make a base of operation, become real miners. But I'm I, I'm sad to report we'll probably never see Joseph again. I don't know where he's going to go. I've never seen him before. There's like certain heroes that are in this game, and they, they usually hang out in bars. I've never seen one just walk around. No, don't say that, Schizo. Joseph's gonna be fine. Joseph's out there living living life. Drinking beer. He's not he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care that Atlas isn't released yet. No, Schizo! Don't say that about Joseph. I'm gonna be very upset if he killed Joseph. I might single you out. And go on a diatribe. <laughs> Shrugged Atlas. The classic novel. I'm really distracted by the fact that Sadbot doesn't have a head. I didn't think this would be so distracting. I wanted this to be a semi normal playthrough, and I've already stopped that by making a character with no head, by making a bird character. And then making a character named uh, Barth Bader Ginsburg. So this this entire playthrough is now uh, a meme. And it's too late. My god, everyone's pretty much useless. Azumi has negative 7 attack. Oh, it might be because of the dust storm, though. And Barth's even worse off. He's got negative 1... Negative 11? I think it's just the weather, though. It's fine. We're doing great, everybody. We're doing real nice. I wonder what's more lucrative. My, it's probably farming. But I've never been a farmer in this game. And I think people in chat would be very upset if I started now.
Right, let's have a sad bot uh, take care of some business here. Let's see what 18 copper nets us. How much are they worth each? 90? It's not bad. It's not too bad. Let's see if there's anyone else working in town. How much does this get us? It's not bad. Two grand? That's pretty good. So around 20 copper gets us two grand. Uh, so we'll need about 200 copper to get close to 30,000 to afford Joseph, who is no longer here. Who's gone. Who's dead. According to Schizo, he's gone! I love Barth, though. Barth might be my favorite character already. He's just such a pure soul. Look at his face. Barth just has a story to tell. A story I would love to hear, by the way. And we haven't been attacked by bugs or slavers. Which is very fortunate. And I say that, and I bet you anything I'm going to get attacked now. But no, these are military police. Who the fuck is this guy? Is this a slave? Empire peasant. Why are the peasants wandering around with police? Look at this place, man. Desolate. A desolate wasteland. No! The game crash. Oh, no. No! Alright, hopefully it didn't set us back too far. I, I should have remembered to save constantly. We should make a Joseph. A brand new one. A brand new Joseph. A, a Joesf, if you will. Alright, what time is it? Alright, this is from two minutes ago, so this isn't too bad. We won't lose too much progress. I love the art for this game. I wish there was a, a physical art book for the concept art of this game. It would be dope. It would be cool. Cool and nice. <laughs> Don't see that, Veridam. It's not a fart book. It's not a fart book. Oh, so this is just before we made that two grand. So let's do that real quick. Smoke grenade launch. No, those are his eyes. Those are his eyes. Please read into the lore. Uh, please visit the wiki. Okay, before you ask me questions like that. Sir. For some reason, I was just reminded of uh, this one friend I had on one of my fake foreign Facebook accounts. One of my Russian Facebook accounts. And um, he would constantly complain that Facebook is fake book. Don't ask me why I thought of this now. I think because of what I said about fart book. That probably made me... Yeah, what, what Viridium said about fart book made me th think of this. He would constantly update his status and say Facebook is fake book. Also, I forgot to sell this, but that's okay. I need to do another Facebook stream. see what's going on now it's harder to it's harder to make joke profiles on facebook because mark zuckerberg wants everything to be fucking legit and he wants to take the fun out of everything so now like if you have a name that doesn't sound real even if it is he requires you to send photo id that you're actually named this so i think a lot of my old accounts are dead in the water now it's true 
He said Facebook is fake book, and then he said Facebook is just time pass. These were his quotes. And then he would say, uh, okay, good night. Every night, and he would post nothing else, so it would just be a stream of months of okay, good night in a line. Or he would say good night to specific countries that he was trying to solicit girls from. So he would say good night, Philippines, good, uh, good night, America, good night, China. It was pretty good. And then when when you asked him what he was up to, he said he was busy lawyering. <laughs> he said he was a lawyer, but I, but the way he acted online, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't believe that he was. <laughs> What's this goalless? No, no, no. He's he was no uh, he was no tub man. He wasn't visiting Facebook from the tub. possible there was a at one point there was like an election i guess they elect their lawyers because he was from pakistan i don't know how it works over there but i tried so hard to find him i wanted to find like a website or something so, to see if he was legit i could find nothing every time you search for his picture you just get his facebook and all his okay good nights there's no way to track the man down and he blocked my brother because my brother said he had cloud hair that really upset him. And then he accused him of being a profile that my brother-in-law made and blocked him. <laughs> oh man. If I could compile all the sagas that I've had with characters I've created on Facebook, you guys, I think you guys would be thoroughly entertained. All that shit is dead in the water now. And it sucks because I had, I had so many like conversations saved on certain profiles and people got banned constantly that I would talk to, so those con conversations were lost for a time. But they were some of the greatest things that you've, I, I swear you guys would get a kick out of them. Oh, he had cloud hair, all right. He had like this, um, this kind of curly, okay, l let me tell you something, okay? Let me describe this man. Think of Albert Einstein, Think of Albert Einstein, what, what Albert Einstein would look like in his uh, late 20s, early 30s on a New York State uh, driver's license. That is what this man looked like. Uh, that's what his hair looked like. And when he was told that he had cloud hair, he got very mad. <laughs> and he proceeded to block my brother <laughs> and accuse him of being a fake woman from the Ukraine. <laughs> That's how this worked. We got him so, like, he got so paranoid at one point, he was accusing real people of being this fake Ukraine woman. And the only reason he hated this woman is because she kept calling him Albert. That was our nickname for him. Just because we thought he looked like Albert, like a young Albert Einstein. There was no other, there was no other reason for this. And that was enough of him, that was enough for him to get upset and start accusing everybody of being this woman, like, legitimate people, too, and blocking them. And then saying, Facebook is fake book, and okay, good night, Philippine. I mean, Interpals was something else, too. Everybody was asking me for English lessons on there. But there's no gold mine that's quite like Facebook though. It's just not the same. He's very sensible. He's a sweet, sweet man. He's a sweet lawyer. <laughs> it just it just makes me laugh because like if that's enough to, to get him upset, <laughs> how can he how can he stand trial? How can he argue for his for his defendant? You know, I haven't tried instant gram, um, but that would be that would be pretty good. The thing is, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't think any other service uh, hosts the type of people that I like to talk to on Facebook. So there's no point in jumping ship to something else. 
He has cloud hair, Your Honor. I'm, I'm talking about Albert. I can, I can tell. <laughs> she knows right away. <laughs> you know right away. <laughs> uh, I have to. I have to regale you all with some of these stories in the future. You do? You have to send them to me. I should put together a stream where I just give give everybody lore of our Facebook ex escapades. This is like ten years worth of nonsense. It started on MySpace, it migrated to Yahoo, and then it went to Facebook. And it was great. Yahoo Yahoo chat rooms, like Yahoo Indian chat rooms are some of the, some of the funniest shit that I've ever been a part of. You just go into any Indian like literally any any Indian chat room and it will be uh, 30 people and two Indians hog it because they what, what would happen is um, only one person would be able to talk at a time uh, over over the mic so you would just have one person and I'm sorry to deafen you all I'm gonna try to do this as low as possible but you'd have one one guy just hello 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 just over and over again and they would take turns they would take turns doing this. It was one, and, and you could never get the mic because they would, seriously, as soon as someone got off the mic, someone else would get on the mic to say hello. <laughs> it just, it went nowhere. It went nowhere at all. Oh my god, that is a good legal strategy. If he, if he just, he just blocks the opposition. And every time, every time he tells them Facebook is fake book, blocks them, and wins because the judge can't uh, can't get a, a reading off of them after that. Oh man, there were better people than him though. We had an arc where we tried to get this uh, this one guy to shave his beard. This 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 man was uh, I think he was Arabic. And he had this big, bushy, ridiculous beard. Like it wasn't, it wasn't like a like a normal uh, beard that someone would have from that region. It was, it was very strange. It it was very. Uh, it's the first thing you your eyes would zoom on, zoom in on. And uh, I told him that I would marry him <laughs> if he shaved his beard, and he agreed. But then he went back on it, and he got very upset with me for some reason. I think someone was like, was like one of his friends got to him. And started whispering in his ear because he was very hostile to me after that. And uh, then he took a, a f soon after he took a Facebook video of himself rolling in the snow like a child and making wah noises uh, as if he's never seen snow before, which is very probable that he didn't. And uh, he lost all credibility to me, and I no longer wanted to marry him. He was a good man. We had like covert ops going on we had like there was like fucking uh counter ops going on against us we had like we have like groups of people that we suspected of making fake there's this one guy who made a profile for kazuya mishima from tekken and he would talk shit constantly and be a total edgelord and he tried to to find evidence that we were fake and he failed in it miserably he would just constantly talk shit but but he would uh, he got to one of the people that uh, was one of our main uh, sources of entertainment, and he convinced he he turned him against us at one point. He got really paranoid because he got a real hard on for one of our characters. He was like obsessed with her, and he really wanted to marry her and have sex with her. And uh, he started uh, he started whispering things in his ear, and I think he 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 made him paranoid that that she was fake or that she. Uh, that she wouldn't, uh, she wouldn't do anything with him, even though we told him from the very beginning we had no interest in him in that in that way. This was never, this was never a, a sexual thing, or or trying to be romantic with anybody. It was just we would say ridiculous things. We would make characters that made no sense that shouldn't exist. I made characters that would die, constantly. Actually, like I would have funerals for them, and and I would say that they died, and I photoshopped like an image, of my face in a coffin. And it was very crudely done. It was done in MS Paint, and I put X's over the eyes. And then I came back the next week, and people people were, were like giving me their condolences. And then I came back the next week, and they acted like nothing happened. These were the types of people that we dealt with. But they got in his ear, and he started like he started trying to do like covert ops against us. It was pretty good stuff. 
Exactly. I want to. I want to see the real the chin. I want to see everything. I want to see absolutely everything. You know what? If they are on the level of irony that is so far beyond us that we can only ever dream of understanding it, I will commend them. But I, th I think, I think they're like the Japanese where sarcasm doesn't exist for them. Sarcasm just isn't a concept, and I think irony exists in the same way for most of them. For pe for for people who are actually from India and who go on Facebook to to look for. For Pussy or, or Bob's picks. What killed me? I don't even remember. I think I just died. Do you remember what killed me the first time I killed her off? Uh, I don't think I said. To be honest, I, I think you just said that you died and went to hell or something. And then that, it, it was <laughs> yeah, I, that's right. I said I died and I went to hell. And everybody was asking me what happened. And they're like, oh, condolences and yeah. Oh yeah, I had brothers, and I like I superimposed horns onto them, and 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 colored them one red and one blue, and I said I had demon brothers, and everybody everybody added them. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was going on with these people. It was it was such a shit show. It was like so obviously fake, but everybody would would try to talk to me and try to get me to send them pics. Isn't it that Japanese people like sarcasm doesn't translate? in the Japanese language? Or that's just not a, a humor that they possess? I, I remember somebody saying that, it might be wrong. It's like that with most people though. Most people are just don't don't want to joke around. Just fucking milk toast. Yeah, I think that's the same thing with Japanese. I think slapstick humor is like their primary source of entertainment, or at least it has been for a long while. I don't. I don't think um, either irony doesn't translate well, or they just don't have it. I don't remember which one it is. I could be totally wrong. Germans don't have sarcasm, really. I find that believable. I've met some lovely German people, but I, I don't think I've ever been sarcastic with one. I don't even know what, like... What in, I'm trying to remember, like, what some of the Indian friends I had, what they would joke about on the Indian side of Facebook. But it was mostly, like, MLM scams. <laughs> that, was, that was a very prevalent thing. If you want to see a group of people who fucking love pyramid schemes, add like, add like 50 Indians. By the end of the week, you'll have uh, 500. And I'd say about 10% of them will try to introduce you to some multi-level marketing scheme that you could buy into. It's pretty good. There was a time, I, I think, like around 2010 through 2012 where I had at least 500 to a thousand profiles that were all MLM scams they had MLM in their names they didn't try to hide it I I would talk to some of them that would try to to get me into one of their uh one of their pyramid schemes and uh, they they were so blatant about it. They just put, like, they added me. There used to be a feature. I don't know if it still exists now. But you used to, people used to be able to add you to Facebook groups without your consent uh, if you were on their friends list. So I would get added to hundreds of these MLM scam groups. And they would constantly be pinging me about some bullshit to join their, to join their MLM pyramid scheme, Ponzi scheme whatever it was constantly i would i would have to take time out of my day to manually remove these people and manually remove myself from these groups because i would get i would get added to them constantly there were so many of them it was insane it wasn't even selling products it, i don't even know what they were selling they were just talking about business and they wouldn't specify what the business was 
It's like they, they, they started a Ponzi scheme without a product or a plan. They just added you and they're like, hey, join this. Oh, they did that to you too? It must have been really prevalent at one point. Um, I don't think it happens as much now. I think you need to actually physically add yourself to a group now. So it's good that they took care of that. But it was so bad at one point. So bad. Like, I couldn't... I couldn't, um go a day without getting some messages from from these people just posting like uh jpegs of of some sort of business scheme that they were offering and most of it was in hindi so i didn't know what the hell was going on but uh the ones that could translate to me or, or articulate what they were trying to do never specified what the fuck they were selling or what the scheme was so it was it was a uh, quite a ride it was very interesting stuff But it's, there was this one guy. I think I added him during my secret Facebook stream. I think you guys remember. I, I kept uh, attacking him from being fat. And it's not because, you know, it's not because he's a, a fat guy. But he's he's an, <laughs> he's an actual piece of shit um, who, who just asks every woman to show her pussy. Every single one. And, and like, every profile that I got, that I made that I added him on, he always asked for it, constantly. And he was one of these guys that got roped into MLM. Like, he had certificates and shit. So he must have paid some some pr pretty pennies to, to get pretty deep into the scam, uh, which I found so funny, considering wh how, what a shitty person he was. Uh, but I want I want to see if he's still into that shit. Like, he was very proud of it. He was constantly... Uh, bragging about uh, about being rewarded for this. I don't even know what he was... He probably paid more money than whatever he made. It's so funny. Maybe he was he was uh, selling essential oils. What a champ. What a champeen. But he took this one photo where <laughs> it was not flattering at all. Um, he used... And, and this is another thing that a lot of them do. They use, like some sort of brush tool to make their faces really smooth, like unnaturally smooth, where they look like video game characters. And he he made himself so smooth that it added weight to him, and his face looked really round. So I would constantly point this out to him when he would try to ask me for Bob or, or Pussy pics, and he would get very, very upset about it. And he would start cursing me out on a daily basis. He's a sweet, sweet individual. Love him. He probably has, yeah. I, I don't think pyramid schemes are as prevalent on Facebook as they used to be. I mean, it's it's very possible that they still are, but I'm telling you, like, 2010 to about 2012, 2013, it was insane. You could not get away from it. You would get added, if you had any Indian friends in excess of, like, 10 to 20, you would get added by all these fucking guys who, who just wanted you in on their Ponzi scheme. What? Doing well for someone in Mensa? Oh shit! Oh no! Run! Manhunters! I was too happy talking about Facebook. Oh my god. Got manhunters over here. Wait, why is a slave attacking me? Oh no! How is he committing a crime? No, Ronnie! They took Ronnie away! Wait a second, how are we committing a crime? What? What is going on? What happened? Why are we in jail? I think someone heard about Facebook schemes. Everybody just got put in prison. Hold on a second. Are, are these military police? Samurai police? What are the? What do we do? What happened? I don't know what. I don't know what we, what we did. Listen, if we committed a crime, I'd happily admit to it. Oh my God! Look at all these police officers. 
here to bail out a friend. Oh, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna just pay all their bounties. What? Starving vi- What? Wait, what? What what just happened? Who the fuck is starving vagrant? And he's missing a leg? Did I did I just free this man by accident? What the fuck happened? All right, well, starving vagrant is now He's also a slave. I think. Yeah, he's a slave. And he doesn't have a fucking leg, man. He can't do anything. I freed everybody, didn't I? Oh, God. Sad bot, you gotta free your friends. Who is this man? Car Caden. Is that Caden J? Oh, he's, he's, in, he's in bad shape. He's very hungry. I'm gonna... <laughs> I gotta find the warden and I gotta free everybody. Wherever the fuck he is. Hold on, maybe he's downstairs. If I could just talk to somebody about this, figure it out. Here we go. We're gonna use him. What are you doing? Where are you going? Right, it's gonna it's gonna take him a while to get out, to get down here. But that's alright. It's a good thing we freed him because now he could free us. <laughs> I'm here to bail out a friend. Bail out everybody. It's three thousand dollars. You know what? We'll get Caden out of here. Excuse me. Oh, he's just out. He's fine. What about everybody else? Is it because they're unconscious? That's true. Starving Vagrant is a nice man. I've I I've freed these people. Why are there so many nameless groups now? No, Sabbat's okay. They just they just roughed them up a little bit. I don't even know what happened. I have no idea why I was accosted and thrown in jail i i committed no crimes i i was just a, a regular minor what is what the fuck is going on in this pr why is there why is there a dummy a training dummy in between the cages there's a bail out of friend let's get, let's get ronnie out of here Zero. Is it just because they're unconscious? I don't have anything to give them. Oh, they stole my shit! Or did I use it? To be fair, yeah, this, this area is pretty fucking corrupt. Oh no, they're out. There we go. Okay, so we just have to wait for them to wake up. And we'll be fine. I think they stole all my inventory. They stole my weapons! Oh wait, no. No, they didn't. I don't think she had a weapon. No, they stole his weapon, though. The fuck? That's money! That's money I lost! Now I have to wait for Ronnie to wake up. This guy, Caden, is just out. And he's a slave now. We're in bad shape, man. This isn't good. I just spent all this money. I spent half my revenue freeing my my uh, tribe here. This is terrible. This is this is the corrupt police department. This is the corruption of the desert police. But you know what? The good news is we found starving vagrant, and he's now a part of the team. I can't rename him. He's just going to be called Starving Vagrant, which is fine by me. I think that's A-OK. -okay. Alright, let's get him out there. 
Grover just fucking ran off. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me fix this squad up because this drives me crazy when it's just a mess like this. Let's put them in order of importance. Poor guy is missing his leg. He's, he, he can't even. I don't think he could even mine for us. Herb is just at work. Going to work. Ronnie, did you lose your fucking. Oh my god, Ronnie, you lost everything. Can, can we get our ship back? Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna sneak around a little bit. We're gonna sneak around. How do you sneak? Sneak. Ronnie. Ain't nothing in there. Pick that lock, baby. Where's our stuff? I think our, our stuff's just done. Oh shit. Heck yeah. Thank god Barth is okay. We're gonna have to buy new weapons now. On the floor? Uh, you know what? It might be. Let's see. I don't know where we got fucked up, though. Hold on. Raw meat, animal skin. No, it's gone. I think they confiscated it. They usually put it away somewhere. Oh, wait, no, there's, there's, there's something. Barth will get that one. Oh, Bar uh, Ronnie's got a got a a weapon. That's good, at least, right? That's a that's a good start. Oh, poor Izumi. What a mess! What a mess! What a mess! I'm surprised they didn't take my copper from me. But now we're back. We're, we've lost half our progress. This is bullshit. This is what the cops do, man. They just, they fuck you. They f fuck you. I should act like I'm really upset with the police. Has anyone ever gotten banned off Twitch for having a, an anti-police rant? That's what I should aim for. These fucking pigs! They're constantly corrupt. They take all my hard work. They arrested my friends. No, Joe's... Listen, I didn't anger Joseph. I was willing to pay Joseph for his services, but he was too expensive. Joseph is a fan of the almighty dollar, or in this case, the almighty cat. These slaves have been standing here starving for fucking days. Why are they standing? We're going to see this man waste away before our very eyes. This is actually what happens in this game. If you start starving, your ribs start showing. It's a pretty cool feature. Although it's it's terrible for this man, he could just go indoors and be okay. I can't believe this vagrant is just being held in my arms. Oh shit, Azumi, you gotta get some food for us. Actually, no, Barth. Now we're gonna have to spend even more money on food. This is ridiculous, but Barth is the fastest creature on this planet. Also the most attractive. So it's going to be fine. I'm just going to get some meat here. Feed all our friends. Oh, wait, no, I still have I still have food. Wait, do we all have food? No, we don't. Why, why are some of us missing food and others aren't? Doesn't make any sense to me. Alright. Show me your goods. 
It sounds like I'm asking her to remove her, her clothing. But that's not the case. Barth would never do that. Barth is very respectful of women, especially on this women's day. Barth may very well be a female. I, I can't tell. I can't tell and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speculate here, guys. I'm gonna leave it amb ambiguous for the fans, for the Barth fans out there. Welcome, girls. Let's fix them up. Let's have them eat. Get to work. Barth, get to work. National Bird Day. I miss those guys. I wonder if they went on to become YouTubers. They had the, the voice for it. And they also had the complete idiocy to go for it. And I mean that in the most loving way that I can. Oh my god, this man is going to die right before us. Look at the look in his eyes. This guy doesn't want to be alive anymore. This is a protest. This is like the man. This is like the monk setting himself on fire. She's okay, though. She's protesting, but she's not feeling the effects yet. I can't believe this. We're back to $2,000. 2,000 2, cats! It's years of work gone. Well, days of work gone. Several days of work gone in an instant. Because this corrupt police. These corrupt pigs. Oh, they have different colored cows. I wonder if that's a mod I have. I have goats. We gotta get a goat and name it after Josie, as is tradition. Look at that beautiful hair. Oh my god. It's got a beautiful head of hair over there. I'm determined that we will have a house up soon. Maybe I should just move here. Hold on. What other. I think there's another like deposit somewhere over here. It might be iron, though. Iron. Iron's not worth as much. Especially in the beginning. Iron. Is that... We got copper over there. Maybe I should just build a house over there. So we can just hide at home if we get attacked. <laughs> just run, in our, run indoors. Run into the safety of our house. I've been itching to play Kenshi because of that uh, Seth video. I was so surprised that he covered this game. This game has been gaining a lot of traction ever since it came out of Early Access. I'm, I'm really happy for the developer because this, this game is a hidden gem. It's a very good, very good game. It needs more people's eyes on it. Oh, that's right. I'm still holding <laughs> Oh god, I wish that that trader was still here that I could I could buy limbs from because we could give our man a leg so he could help. I didn't say to go here, did I? Oh, I did. Let's get some building materials, some mats as the gamers like to say. Let's get like 10 of them. Let's get like 10 of these. Ten of these. I don't know if we're gonna need all this, but let's just take it anyway. Bunch of steel bars. Get like, oh shit! I can't afford that. That'll be enough. All right, we're gonna move out into the desert now. This is gonna be stage one of our come up tour.
That's true. That's true. We can cut him up. We can eat him. But why would we do that? He freed us. Free him. I'm gonna free Solo. Where's that deposit? Oh God, it's so dusty out here. There we go. Sadbot's gonna build our house over there. Sadbot became sad because he lost his head. He was created without a noggin, and he's been searching for it ever since. You know, it's it's the daily struggle. There's colored buildings now? Oh, that's pretty cool. We can make our house here. Can't build close to another town. Where can I build? This is still kind of far off, but, you know. This'll do. Sad bots on it. No, no, that's Barth Vader Ginsburg. No, I would never, I would never besmirch a judge on the Supreme Court. I would, I wouldn't do that. I just make a parody in honor of that judge in a game as a bug person, as a hive. Just walk through my house, you fuckers. I can't believe you did this. Alright, you can stay in here now, you're safe. He lives <laughs> he lives in here now. Um let me see if I can make some beds. Camping. Make a few camp beds here. Just a bunch of campers. Research. Oh my lord, this is fucking gigantic. Why is there. Hold on a second. Okay. They have two new research benches now? Because it used to just be this tiny one. I didn't know that. There we go. Get on it. They have a big old heart on for humans. I'm just gonna let starving vagrant sleep for as long as they want. For as long as possible. What kind of things can we research here? Storage. That's what we need. Yes, let's do this. That's cool as a little book animation. I like that. Let's get Izumi to do it. She's she's the resident researcher. Oh, don't feel bad for starving your vagrant. He's gonna be doing great very soon. He's gonna get off his feet, no pun intended. And he's gonna rise and grind like everybody else. That's how it is. That's how we do it in this collective. What should we name this squad, by the way? Maybe we name them, um... Bottom guy. Bottom town. Bottom... Benjamin Bottom. No, oh, I got it. Neville Longbottom. There we go. I don't know if that's how you spell Neville, but now that is. Supreme Mort. <laughs> the Funglers. I like Supreme Mort. Supreme Mort. It's very good. The Funglers will be another faction in our story. Zubi needs to take a nap. She's had a long day. Or maybe it should be Supreme Mort. As in death. That'd be good also. Supreme Morty. Who are these guys? 
Oh, they're tech hunters. Cool. Wait a second. You know, I'm going to have Barth take care of this one. I wonder... I think they just join your faction. Like, you could hire them as, a, as something. Oh, yeah, bodyguards. That's what it is. No. Oh, shit! Yeah, you could join me. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Takao! We gotta make him look cooler. Let's randomize him. Let's make him short and stocky. With gigantic hands. You know what they say, big hands, big bands. This is the moral of the story, body positivity. You could look like this and still be a, a perfect warrior. He's gonna be extremely short with a tiny, tiny head. There we go. This is my guy right here. Why is this is <laughs> one arm slouching like that? What's wrong with the other one? There we go. Now we've got to give him the perfect face. Little head. Little flat head. Very thick neck, but tiny head. I just want him to look very manly, but also uh, very cute. I want him to be a man you could get behind. And no, that's not meant sexually. I mean that uh, as far as uh, politics and beliefs go. But he's very worried. He's worried about the future. He's also angry about the. He, this is his uh, uh, 2016 election face. I think I have some new face paints that I could use. Man becomes a mini fridge. A story in three parts. Maybe I don't have any new ones. Oh, here we go, here we go. We got the cool ones here. Oh shit, he looks he looks like Caesar. He's got the the grass crown. I think this is Oh shit, he looks like an ogre. But see, this takes away from his handsome look though. I think he should have like the football the football eye. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see what he's got going on here. Wait a sec. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay. I think these are meant to be <laughs> These are meant to be female haircuts. The heck? I don't think he looks as menacing with this, but I'll give him the ponytail, though. There we go. That's pretty good. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty nice. That's Takao, guys. Let's be off. Oh, he's got a bounty on him. Takao, why didn't you tell me this before I allowed you to join this group? Now I gotta worry about people arresting you? It's not, he's not wanted by the local faction, so that's good. We don't have too much to worry about then. It should be fine. It should be okay. What do you mean nameless? You're part of Supreme Mort. Wait, hold on, we can name... Can we name our group? Squads. Alright, our faction... 
is the Funglers. There we go. Look at this man. This man has wielded a pick before. I'll tell you something. This man knows about Minecraft. It's pretty good. He's a reliable, reliable man. Okay. I'm gonna have to cut it short here, everybody. I'm gonna have to take off soon to work, sadly. But I would love to continue this stream in the future. Uh, thank you for watching, friends. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow evening, probably around like 6 p.m., 7 p.m., to read more of that terrible, terrible book. So please tune in. You will enjoy it. Uh, it, it only gets worse from there. I can, I can guarantee you that. Uh, thank you for watching, friends. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you on Sunday. We'll have good streams together. We'll have good times together. Okay? Don't forget the funglers. Uh, don't forget to, to, to grind every day. Hustle every day, baby. Just like Sadbot did. And one day you'll have a group of friends uh, who all get arrested by the police for unknown reasons. Okay? Good night.